Julian Assange has passed away at the age of 52, according to reports by British media. Julian Assange allegedly took a short walk at his British prison yard, said he felt unwell, collapsed, and then never regained consciousness. On Saturday, Assange's family confirmed that the political activist had died on the 16th of February. He was 52 years old. His condition had deteriorated over the four years he'd been held in prison, where he complained he'd been denied proper medical treatment, and spent over 300 days in solitary confinement. By the time of his arrest in April 2019, he'd spent years living in an embassy trying to avoid a deportation plan. Even so, he appeared to be in relatively good spirits and health in a court video a day before his death. The weight of international opinion does not appear to tally with Britain's version of what happened to him at HMP Belmarsh, otherwise known as Hunting Dog, one of Britain's toughest and highest security prisons. Assange's wife said that he was happy, healthy and alive when she last saw him. Vladimir Putin, president of Russia, has put out a statement saying it's shocking how a prominent world power and leader in the international community could keep a political prisoner locked up for an indefinite amount of time whilst they're waiting for extradition. I hope that Britain does learn from this and that David Cameron begins to understand the concept of irony.